Don't forget to plug in your cars and bring out the winter woolies. But the weirdest thing is, it'll be going back up. And this will all melt almost as fast as it came. Global warming or just <laughs> weird weather? Or cow methane or God knows what. Hey, Lily? <laughs> <laughs> you bet, Larry. Probably won't surprise you to hear that this wasn't what I pictured when I decided to become a thief. You know, I imagined myself roaming the globe with an all-star team of criminals stealing rubies from sheiks, cracking safes in Shanghai, and then counting my millions on a beach somewhere. But before I knew it, instead of the hula girls and the mojitos, I was here, working alone freezing my ass off, trying to steal something from my house while the cops were already inside. And if I didn't pull this off, I'd lose everything. Sure, I'd make some lasting relationships in prison, but that wasn't my preferred option. Nope. On the run from the law, we know well. The game I know so well, they put me in jail, but I post bail. Ain't riding no coattails, expecting my name in the folk tales. My daughter prays for me, search the Bible for a verse. It's more likely that you'll find me in a hearse than the church. Uh, uh, This fucking clusterfuck started about six hours ago with a call from Iron Stripes is a proper thief under Don's wing. It was a living, but there's no future in robbing warehouses and shipping containers. I had to build something bigger for my family and myself. So I quit, and he actually let me. Gus, it's Don. We need to talk. Now, even though I was out, you do not ignore a call from Don. So I had to detour the whole family from a trip to my mother-in-law's birthday party to go meet him and see what was up. Gus, you do not want to play with me today. I thought you said that you were never working with Don again. I know what you're thinking here, but you'd be wrong. Diane didn't want me to go straight. She wanted me to be better at being crooked. Like any married couple, we had our hopes and dreams. <laughs> Honey, do you know what good husbands do? Hmm? What do good husbands do, darling? Good husbands bring home the bacon. Bacon! That's right, bacon. Well, honey, I can't bring home the bacon if I've gone away for a long time in the big house. Don't go away, Daddy, into no, the I'm, big house. I'm not, darling. Well, if you keep hanging out with losers like Don, you won't have to get locked up to go away for a long time. I am. I really can blame her for being pissed money. off. She was right. And for a long time now, I hadn't been delivering on my end of the deal. I just I couldn't seem to find a good so score on my own. If you smartened up, you'd bring home the bacon. Huh. And then maybe, hmm, if you were really lucky, you'd get your sausage eaten. But now looking back, it was stupid to have even talked to him. Hi, Uncle Don. Bye, Uncle Don. Hey, kid. Don had a way of prodding, finding your soft spot, and then twisting. I got one minute, Don. What, are you on a date? 58 seconds, Don. Stegman. Stegman? The porn guy? Yeah, the porn guy. He stole some of mine. You're my best thief. I want you to go get it back for me. Well, I'm not yours anymore, Don.
You know, she blames you. She blames you for me not making enough money. Can you believe that? It was your choice to quit the crew. Your mistake, not mine. All right. What did Stegman steal? He broke into my place, took some VHS tapes. Security footage of that jewelry heist that went south a couple of years ago. He was just Stegman. So I sent Lars. <laughs> you called Lars? Yeah. They say half a loaf is better than no bread. But what if the bread is moldy and borderline handicapped? Lars was supposed to be my replacement. But if there was a school for thieves, Lars would have been that kid that took three years to finish the first grade. I didn't know anyone who actually paid for porn anymore. But somehow Stegman was able to juice big coin out of it. So what? He was suddenly stupid enough to start blackmailing Dawn and a bunch of criminals? Even Lars smells something wrong here. But he really didn't expect to find Stegman already dead. Two slugs, double tap to the chest. Clothes all over the floor. Shaving stuff on the counter. Running shit all over the place. The toilet's backed up. I'm just the actress. That dead shit in the shower. A Stegman, right? Stupid bastard. Who did it? I, I, I don't know. I was, I was unconscious. Stephen. <laughs> Stegman is dead? Stupid. sucks. Uh, well, now I can't even get in touch with him. So I would like you to go in and see if you can suss this out. Now? What? Give me your balls, you jackass! Really? You, me, Sergei Kruger. Jesus, Donna. It's been 10 years since that clusterfuck. <laughs> what happened? He's been blackmailing everybody on the tape. I'm surprised he hasn't called you yet. No, he hasn't called me yet. Dad, we gotta go. 
24 Roanoke Avenue. I'm not doing this, Don. Come on, do it alone. We gotta hit the rope. Come then. Gosh, it's best you do this. Well, I don't have the best to do anything, Don. The thing about Don is that he never did something for nothing. He knows we can't get pinched for a 10-year-old crime. He knows I know that. Therein lay my worry. I got you. I just couldn't see the angle here. And God knows, Don always had an angle. You said you'd be quick. Why didn't you just honk the horn some more? Yeah, keep it up, smartass. Mom! I'm sorry, sweetheart. And you smell like smokes. I only had one. Back me up, doodlebug. Just one accounted. That's right. What is that? Hot dog. I told my mom you'd quit. I did quit. As of now, I quit. So you're not a liar. And we'll tell her I was in a fire. What kind of fire, Daddy? A big one. And I saved a little baby, and I went back for a cat, but the baby lived and the cat blew up. Let the cat live! Shit balls, yeah, the cat lives, and I'm the hero of okay, the story. Okay, okay, you know what? Be a father and stop swearing at your daughter. What did Dawn want? Nothing. Yeah, that sounds likely. Uncle Don was sad. Sweetheart, I don't want you to call him that, okay? Someone stole something. Hey, how do you know that? I hear stuff. Okay, you see, this is exactly why I don't want her hanging around him. If you had had successful partners, they would know how to make money and keep secrets from children. You're so pretty. And you're so ugly. You're so pretty. You're so ugly. And you're so pretty. And you're so ugly. You're so pretty. Okay, 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 okay stop that. That's a fail for me. Bad. Ugh, too ugly. Too duck face. Way too emo. Oh, she's perfect for you. Get your feet off my desk! <laughs> I talked to Gus. He'll go. So he went? He'll go. What do you mean he'll go? He needs time to suss out the situation. Dad, why do you even like him? Have you seen him with his wife? He's totally pussy with. I like him because he's not an idiot. What if he doesn't go at all? Do something. Try Lars again. not yeah it's called a shortcut gus gus i will completely lose it if you do this of course it wasn't a shortcut diane can be a pain but she's not stupid she wanted me to forget dawn and just move on but my gut was telling me something something different this was the moment when i knew there was a real problem sergey was no fool he was the muscle in dawn's crew and when I saw him here, I knew. This blackmail thing, it holds water. The 
octopus and the girl. <laughs> that is so gay. Tell me if I'm close. It's a heist movie meets tentacle porn. Hot young Asian chick comes to rob a drug dude's den. But then things get crazy. And before her appears a magical octopus that is the embodiment of all her sexual fantasies. Huh? And there's a guy. He does you, you do him, the octopus comes, does everybody, and best play roll credits. <laughs> ah, everyone's a critic. Where are the tapes? I don't think it's finished yet. The security tapes! I don't know anything about them. You know, I was hoping a midget would fall down from there. <laughs> Every porn needs a midget. <sighs> All right. Up we go. There we go. <sighs> Ooh, bars. <laughs> oh. You are so much better when you're quiet. Tell me, darling, what is your name? Evie. Evie. And, uh, Evie, what is that thing that the midgets, they like to be called? Hmm? Little people. Really? That is way more insulting. Okay. Evie. I just did you a huge favor. You will win one of those porn awards and be able to afford some good tits. Now, uh, you help me too. Huh? You say, I Think you know something. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Why does he keep his important shit? Just, just downstairs. Videos, boxes. There's all kinds of shit down there. Good girl. Can you help me now? Help yourself. career criminal. Now, there are only a couple rules that we live by. Rule number two, don't tell other criminals your business. It protects you, it protects them. Diane's grandfather taught me that. He was a legend in his day, and he made sure Diane's dad was a proper thief, too. It just made my recent losing streak that much worse. I think the real reason Diane hid my profession from her family is that she was just flat out embarrassed. Okay, sweetheart, you remember what to say if anybody asks you what your dad does for work? Russian spy. He's like an entrepreneur. He works with money. Okay, here we go. Hi, Mom. Happy birthday. Thanks, darling. <laughs> You're late. My fault, Mrs. Stewart. You can blame me. Oh, get in here. Tell her about the fire, Daddy. Tell her about the cat. Oh, I will. Go on in. 
Apparently we have a cat. But not lovely, Angela. I can't wait to meet him. Come on in. Is Uncle Harry here? Oh, yeah. I've seen him here somewhere with a drink in his hand. Now, did you just trick me into getting you a cat? Smart, eh? Very smart. Now I gotta make a phone call. Can you make sure your mom doesn't find me? Wait, first help me with my jacket. She'll think you're being responsible in a fatherly way. Are you sure you're my kid? Right. Now, give me your hands. Say a little prayer with me, all right? Close your eyes and repeat after me. Lord, give us strength. Lord, give us strength. To accept the things that we cannot change. To accept the things that we cannot change. And courage to change those we can. And courage to change those we can. And wisdom to drink all the pain away. And... What kind of prayer is that? One that's going to come in handy one day, Doodlebug. Just you and me, sitting on a porch. Dad? You're so pretty. Now go find your mom, all right? Go. That right there is what this was all for. So we just wait? There's a ticking clock, Dad. Let me see that. Where'd you get this? The hands look like boners. <laughs> what do you know about time? You know dick! <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> Jesus. Kids seem to always have all the right questions. It's like, why shouldn't you be able to have your cake and eat it too? I just wish I had all the right answers for her. Sometimes all I've got are questions myself. Is this for real? I think so. Let's see if I'm awake. Aren't you supposed to pinch yourself? Oh, you sure? Yeah. God sake, Gus. <laughs> Dr. Fred said, Positive steps, moving things forward. Oh, that's such a new age tool, you know that? The only thing I hated more than old people parties? Marriage counselors. I apologize. You're right. I hear you, I accept you, I appreciate you. I'm trying. Trust me. Focus. This is my one family day, my mom's birthday. We have a lot of people we don't know here this time. You know, if you took things more seriously, you may actually find opportunity here. Opportunity. <laughs> Just when I thought things were bad. <laughs> Harry, hello, how are you? Very good, good. very good. Good, <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs> and who's this? Hi, my name's Angela, and this is my dad. He's an entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> I am Gus. I'm actually a registered martial arts expert. I'm required to say that because I'm on a list. I kill people with my bare hands using kung fu. He's joking, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I am joking. I am actually in uh, venture capital. Mm -hmm. Right, right. How's that work? <laughs> well, Gus makes investments. If somebody has a good idea, Gus sees an opportunity. Yeah. Actually, 95% of them don't make any money, but the 5% that pay off, they're the ones that bring home the bacon, ain't that right? <laughs> I can imagine. Bring home the bacon to mama and sausage. Mm. What business are you in, Harry? Well, I own what you might call a, a cleaning company. But now I'm retired. You know what they say? Goodbye, tension. Hello, pension. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know they said that. Yeah. Who said that? I just said that. Yes, you did. Actually, uh... <laughs> Excuse me, Harry. I have to take this. Where are you going? Everything's going so well. Diane, I'm telling you, I mean, this thing with Dawn, it might be important. One call, all right? One call. Just be my hero. I'll be right back. For fuck's sake. What did you just say? I love you.
Stegmans, home of the legendary eight-legged octopus cam. Tentacle play. Why watch one when you can see eight? A salty dog always gets his bone. Seriously? Let us shiver your timbers, because we filmed a giant squid attack at a Ooh. private girl's school. Wanna shellac your shillelagh like it's the first time? Well, just join us. That's the most I've gone in six months. That's hilarious. You're really hilarious. You can get used to laughing and doing everything else alone. Home I want you to make your call and get your ass back to the party. Why watch one when you can see eight on a date? Sign up now. Stick with us. It's him. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, I just went by. Fucking Sergey is out front. What the fuck is going on, Don? Tell him, Dad. You remember that night there were two security guards? Yeah, I was there, remember? Yeah, well, then you remember. It was cold as a witch's tit, wasn't it? Uh -huh. Ah. Well, when you disabled the motion sensor system, you also shut off the heating system. So? So they froze to death. They froze? Like they, they, they died? Fuck Christ, Don, why didn't I read about this in the newspapers? There's just no bodies. There's no murders. I had to send somebody in to clean it up, didn't I? Kruger, right? And his partner. They cleaned the whole mess up and they brought me back the security tapes. I just cracked the safe, Don. Gus. You, me, Sergey, Kruger, his partner, we're all on those tapes. And we're on the hook for felony murder on commission of a crime. The shit fuck pissed on. Fuck you for not getting those tapes back. All right, how did Stickman get them anyway? Oh, look, that doesn't really matter. What matters is we get the tapes back. Or maybe it doesn't. I mean, you know, little Angela. Maybe she can raise herself. All the parenting's done on the internet these days. I mean, she could talk to men in chat rooms about doing the daddy thing. Pal, give me this. You know, this is exactly what Dr. Field said you'd do. Using Angela as your little go between, me as your enabler. Diane, I'm in trouble. Oh, yeah, that's something new. Come on, Diane. What's to understand, Gus? You've stopped being good at being crooked. Why would I expect you to be able to earn? Did you really just say that? Doodlebug, why don't you tell mom that the cat had post-traumatic stress, right? That plays nice with the fire story, and this way, if I leave now, I can save the cat. What's wrong with him? Doodlebug, there isn't even a cat. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. I am not kidding, Gus. If you leave now, don't bother coming back, because I'm done. Diane, I gotta go take care of some business so we can keep doing the things that we like to do, all right? Oh, and, you know, I'll remind you, you're the one who fucks someone else, not me. I love you. I love you, too.
something not right here. No kidding. There is a girl downstairs dressed like she should be fucking octopuses. Octopi. So I wonder why you don't have the whole costume. Some girl. Lars can't get girls. Can Lars get girls? Maybe you dialed wrong, Dad. I didn't dial the wrong number, you little asshole. Who was it, Dad? You know who it had to have been? The cops. The cops have Lars's phone. They're playing us. They're playing us. I hope they did get him. He's fucking useless. Who, Stegman? No! Lars and Gus. Always talking about how good a thief he is and all other kinds of literary shit. I know who that was. You know, I don't like this thing. <laughs> what do you do with eight tentacles? Huh? Seven. What? Octopi have seven tentacles. The eighth one is called the Hectococtalus. His dick. Shit. Which one is that? It'd be easier to show you than tell you. Uh, but you didn't tell me about the girl downstairs, did you? No, 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 no. That changes the whole movie. Hot chick number one comes to burglarize the dude. That's the girl downstairs. But she is interrupted by hot but timid Asian chick number two, that's you. And you come to the house and you have the octopus come down and he fucking you and No, he... I think a man with an accent is really sexy. Anyone home? You're entering your first floor? Hello? Show yourself! Before today, I absolutely had no idea who this chick was. Just like Sergey and Don, Stegman had been trying to blackmail her too. Clearly, he had no idea who he was stirring up. What a dickhead.
Okay, I'm just here, freezing my ass off. Obviously, no hula girls, no mojitos. But at least I look like I've been coming up with a plan, right? Well, I haven't. I have no fucking idea what to do here. How do I get around the cops, snag the tapes, and get my game tight again? I fell back on the criminal code. Rule number three of being a thief. Never push. Wait for your moment. This one's still alive. It's all right. You're safe now. There's another girl downstairs. Mulligan, go see if there's another girl downstairs. Walk. Turn around and go back into the closet. Grab my pants. A bag. And my jacket. You can't blame a girl for taking off her pants when she wants something. Now can you, officer? March. You know, it's not that we're worried you're not handling this, Dad. It's that we don't trust Gus. Or Lars. Or Stegman. Yeah, especially Stegman. But basically none of them. It's time to bring Kruger in. Burn the place down. Stegman and all the evidence. Yeah. Kruger can get girls. Yeah, fuck us. We can't wait around forever for him to get something done. He doesn't even have a nickname. If he did, he'd be the... Procrastinator. Exactly. Hmm. How do we even know Gus isn't involved? He's a dirty thief. You know, whoever stole those tapes, they were good. Like. Gus good. Gus good. Maybe it is time to call it Kruger. All right, I want you guys to get down there, too. What? Yeah, shouldn't we just wait? Yeah, it's not even four yet. All right, Mr. Dick, for time. You think Gus is involved? You two get down there and keep an eye on him. Fucking Gus. Uh, fucking Gus. Gus. We'll take the jag. Gotta get used to girls wanting to give me a blowjob through the window. Hey! You leave the Jaguar alone. Take your own car. Kruger, get in here. Eggman's. Put your gun down now! Move over there! What girl? She has a gun, a cop, and... You see the bag in his hand? It's a bomb! Maybe a bomb. Does she have the tapes? What, a cop and a bomb isn't enough? Gus, you get to her. Done, she's surrounded. 
You know, I'm sure many a fine daughter's been raised by daddies that are in prison. What? And don't forget to remind Angela about the evils of doing meth and sexting. Or sexting while on meth. What about Stegman? Forget about him. You just get me the tapes and the girl. Make this turn and then go straight. Give me my pants back, officer. Shame on you. How about we play a game? If you can get to your gun faster than I can get into my pants, then you can take your best shot. No peeking, boys. And I had to do that with my hands tied to eyes. Now it's your turn to take off your pants, officer. What? We'll turn up ahead. Hey, 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 is that him? Yep. Oh, baby, Lady Luck is online today. Look at that car. It looks like a grandma's car. Let's sneak around, spy on them from the parking lot. That one we just passed. You know, it's not a bad idea. Mm. I'm surprised at you. Why? Why is that surprising? Oh, no reason. <sighs> it's cold out. I don't want to die like this. How do you want to die? No, I'm serious. I'm, I'm interested. How do you want to die? I have a wife and kids. Watch them grow up, retire, buy a boat. A boat? A boat. Dude, is she going to ice that fucking guy? He's a cop, right? Yeah. That would be so dope. And then what, just die on your boat? That's all there is to it, right? You done learning? She's a fucking trained assassin, man. Then why is she putting a gun on the ground? That's not professional at all. Thank you. Take it easy. Take it easy. There you go. Welcome. Who sent you? Oh, table turn. You show up out of nowhere in front of cops. Why? 
I'm on those tapes also. So Stegman blackmailed you too? Don't set me. Did you even find the tapes? You try finding tapes in that house with half the criminal world dropping in. So how do you know Stegman? I don't. He found me. He's got footage of me getting rid of some bodies, and he wanted to know how much I'd pay. So you worked for Don too? Worked. Yeah. Dad? Oh, hey, Doodle. What's going on? Mom says we're leaving. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna talk to you soon. No, it's... Give me the phone. Angela. Angela, now. Where are you going? What's going on? We're leaving. Mom! What? What do you mean? Why is Angie crying? I bought Angela and I plane tickets. I did it last week. I knew it would come to this. I can't stand this horse shit anymore. Just wait, all right? Just... Stop. Give me your keys. I'm on those tapes, too. Those bodies you fixed, they were mine. Okay, I gotta go get my girl. Are you coming? Where do you think they're going? You know what? That girl with chloroform is pretty hot. Dude, I just figured out how to uncluster this fuck right here. Okay, just follow along, okay? Uh, Kruger's gonna fix the shit show at Stegman's. We're all cool there. And meanwhile, we make sure Gus doesn't get his dirty fucking thief hands on those tapes. I gotta hand it to these boys. I didn't think they had the stones to try to pull off something like this. But their little beanbags were pebbles compared to the shiny brass monkey balls that Stegman was showing. Instead of just blackmailing Don like they had planned, Stegman double-crossed Jesse and Sal. He got greedy and tried to fleece the whole crew. Asshole. You are so full of shit, Stegman. I'm not putting my dick in that. Why not? I think it's kind of hot. See? Boy, Stegman, watch. Shut up, man. If that tentacle thing wasn't so cheap-looking, I might be into it. Wait, Steggy, I think he's kind of right. I feel like I need some actor's motivation, too. Fine. What if you're wearing a gas mask? What for? Who cares? It's art. Besides, I've got one in the basement. Darling, come on with me. Okay. I'm going for a shower. Fuck, man. No one was supposed to be here. Shut up. You shut up. You know what? You go upstairs and get the guy. I'll go downstairs and get our face back. Go. Yeah, right? Yeah, okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, fuck. Right. He figures this out, we'll be completely fucking pooched. We gotta stop him no matter what before he gets to Stegman's. No matter fucking what. I'm going in with you anyways. You understand I'm not a thief, right? Just so we're clear. Well, I am a thief. And I never thought I'd kill anyone until about two hours ago. Yeah. And who lets security guards free? No donuts, no coffee. I never killed anyone who didn't deserve it, ever. OK. She is hot, but, but what? And I've never robbed anyone who didn't deserve to give something back. Wow. Peas in a pod. 
bigger tits, blonde, and a little less Asian. She'd be perfect. You must be a wonderful lover. <laughs> Where's Angie? We're done. Who the fuck is that? This isn't about her. This isn't about Dawn. This isn't about money. This isn't even about you and me in our fights. All right, this is about everything. We gotta handle this, or I won't make it. Comprende, compadre? Now, where the hell is my kid? Angie? Angela. She's not here. What do you mean she's not here? Yeah. She's gone. She's just gone. Yep, she's gone. Gone. Yep, gone. Oh. Diane? Hmm. Hey there, Doodlebug. Come on. You stay right there, Angela. Mom. Hey, remember our talk how there might be a time we have to go? Yeah. Have you changed your mind? No. Hey, where's your mask? Did you forget it, man? No, I told you. I learned. You look like a condom. Shut up. Well, now's that time. Trust me, this thing with Dawn is completely out of control. We have to leave now. Come on. Shit! I dropped my bullet. Check it out, Borg. Quick. Serious, man. Let's go. Okay. I'm cool. Let's hit it. Oh. Mom, don't worry. We'll call you from the road. Get back! Oh. Everybody on the floor, now! Oh. Now, get over there! Over there! Oh. Over there! Oh. Yeah, you, you, you too! Everybody down! Get, get on the floor! Come on! Get on the floor! Now! On the floor! Stay there! Oh. Everybody used to speak English? Ned and Papa, get your shit on the floor! Go! Old man, come on! Uh oh, my back. Oh. Oh. Floor? Keep your shoulders together. No, I Let's got, go! I got. You don't have all day! Get down! Get your skippies on the floor! This whole cuss. That little fucker never even brings home the bacon. Hey, shut up! Okay, everybody, listen up. This guy right here, he stole something from our dad. Tried to blackmail him, but you know what? No one's gonna get hurt. Maybe he will. Just cooperate, okay? The fuck is wrong with you? Don't you got some dumb quip? Brevity is the soul of wit. Somebody do something. Uh, gonna take long nice day. masks, boys. Uh, Jesse, Sal. Uh, Stupid, anyway. Where's the tapes? I don't have them. No, man, we know you stole them. I'm not a violent guy, Jesse. Wouldn't want to have to kill you. <laughs> See, this guy. This is what I'm talking about. Who the fuck is like this? We have guns. He has none. Hey, you're his bitchy wife, right? Get up. Do what he says. Hey! I've seen you online. Why didn't you like me on Milk Chat? Seriously, man, we got a gun on your wife, your kid, your whole family's on the floor, and you're just like, no worries. Nope, not worried. I think you're right, Sal. I think he's retarded. And not just like retarded, retarded, but like a new kind of retarded that isn't even invented yet. Yeah? Well, how about this? Close your eyes, sweetie. Don't know from until I tell you to. Oh, dude, you are so fucking dead. Oh. That did it. Hamlet, right? Yeah. He stole this from Stegmans. That seems about right. They set this whole thing up. They even set up their own father. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's 
the man I married. Yeah. You can open your eyes now, sweetie. No way. Okay. Okay, get her out of here. I'll take care of this. Yeah. Gus? Yeah? Make this right. Of course. Betty, I don't know you, but I've had a shitty partner once, and I can spot him in 30 seconds now. And that guy there, you can trust him with your daughter. So how does Stegman get the tapes? Don't worry, it's all fixed. I gave you those tapes to get them destroyed. It's all on you. Every once in a while, a man needs a little reassurance, doesn't he? You fucked us. If you say so, Evie. So if you don't have the tapes, who else did you send over to Stegman's? I think you know who. Big mistake, Don. Gus, that's her. Kruger's ex-partner. You can't trust her. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Gus! Gus! The only good news here is that it will keep Kruger at bay, hopefully. I bet it'll find the octopus. Aquariums are cool. Can you pass me that? Thank you. Doodle bug, you stay in the car. Evie? Help me out with this. Not Stegman. Oh, 
आज आप लड़ाते हैं। belong to someone who's sloppy. Hey, you know, maybe, uh, you know, we could work together, huh? You know, cooperate? Cooperation? You know, maybe we can get out of here quicker, huh? What are you doing? You don't have to do that, right? Have to do that, you know what I mean? I'm just, please, oh, shit, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Stegman, you are a greedy Nelly. Where are the tapes? I was just trying to finance my film. Aren't there bankers for that? No, they will back me. Too long, too complicated, too many caricatures, too many flashbacks, bad hero, bad reveals, bad structure, bad ending. But I gotta take my shoes off. Grounding is important. Hey. Okay, look. It's a morality tale. There's an octopus and a girl, and it's practically art. And there's all these extra story layers. Oh, I hate those. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I call it. The octopus comes at night. Where are the tapes? They're beside the Shakespeare. Hi, Kruger. Heavy. Get inside. you to stay in the car but the woman followed you and i followed her through the side window to find you you did that oh, you're like a little ninja so the last time we saw each other you left me for dead i did what i could you didn't do enough put your gun down
it's pretty. Oh, that's the only thing you're allowed to touch in here, okay? Where are the tapes? Show me. Pass them over. Wait a minute. Your hands are very small. <laughs> what? What'd you find in the can? Good. Well, well, you sneaky little bugger. Stegman. You know, I, I only blackmailed you guys because I was trying to fund films. Aren't there bankers for that? Evie. I'm still working alone. I'm rethinking. Now get your hand right up in there. Yeah. Now you gotta think about the long game. This is a career. Sometimes the first steps are a little slippery. Gross. Uh, so is this how you always saw yourself? What? Dying with a man like this? What? Forgive you. You promised it's the last time you be on through history. I'll stand by your side. I guess there's only one question left. What's that? Can you get out from the inside? Bye, Kruger. Bye, Abby. And life requires a skilled craft. One that can be passed on from father to daughter. And I'm a good father, right? Yep. I love you, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. You're a pretty good father. Uh, hey. And, uh, Kruger? Done. Good. Oh my God, the camera's daddy. Good job. Now, we came here to do something very important. You helped, big time. But the key is to know when to skedaddle. And you hear those sirens? Now's the time. Let's go. Good job, Steve. Hey, kiddo. How are you holding up back there? I'm fine, actually. I feel pretty good. She's a chip off the old block. I got you something. Thanks. That's the art. What about Stegman? Mr. Stegman? He dead. <laughs> you know, Evie, you're gonna have to back us up at Dawn's in case anything goes squirrely. What about that Sal and Jesse thing? Mom's a word on that. Where is Mom, Dad? Uh, we're gonna go get her, Doodlebug, once I change out of these clothes. What about these? Yeah, don't break those, okay? We gotta take those to Don's. Hey, okay. You're so pretty! And you're so ugly! But well, you're so pretty! And you're so ugly! Yeah! The chloroform comes in handy, Dad. She's like a dead fish. Should have fucking known it would be that easy to take out Dad. Yeah, I guess so. But man, I just wanted to see that old bastard's face when they locked him up for good. Oh, fucking statement. Pretty little bastard. We should have never have given him the tapes. You oh, stupid, freaking, backstabbing kid to mine. These are from Sal's gun. 
Today's shit show, first rate. With Ebby tied up and Stegman locked away in his panic room, these Miss Green kids scoured the place for their tapes and of course found Zilch. Stegman is dead. <laughs> That's for sure. Right about then is when Lars broke up their party. Oh Christ, is that Lars already? I can't get the bar out. Come on, man, we just gotta go. Leave the bar. Come on, let's go. It's your boys who set you up, Don. Yeah, I'm sure you're not gonna be surprised if I keep these safe this time. Huh. How about my two little pricks there? Do you know where they are? No, no. Well, I guess they'll make it home sooner or later, huh? Come on, Dad. You promised me a cat. That's right, I did. Let's go. Oh, one more thing. Destroy that evidence. No second chances. Oh, yeah, for real. I'll do it. Give me those now. Once, maybe, but not twice. Oh. It's all by the code. There's only a couple of ways to actually get yourself killed by someone like Evie. Betrayal is one of them. So is making the same mistake twice. Don says goodbye. Bye, Uncle Don. Time to go get Mom. Yes! Welcome back. Mommy, she just said. Angela, no. What took you guys so long? Uh, we hit a few snags. It's all good. Uh, what happened to the? Uh... I know this seems a little unusual, but even though we said we were retired, we can still tap into our uh, what you might call our professional sides. You know, age has made me realize that family need to be handled. Speaking of which, how did you get here? Yeah, we have a car to get rid of. Ethel? I've got a guy down at the recycling yard. It'll be roofing for the Red Cross by tomorrow. Uh, keys. Let's get back to your future. There's a lot of experience sitting around this uh, tea party. <laughs> Diane has told us about your recent struggles. And we were thinking that maybe witness protection could be a very opportune next step in your line of business. Mm -hmm. Well, I do have a partner. Yes, I know. You know, a business partner. Interesting. This changes things. Maybe for the better. Young lady, I've seen your skills. This includes you, too. Wonderful. Who wants tea? I think this might be a good fit. You bet. 
It really was easy enough to end up dead or behind bars. Retirees are the best in the business, which is why they are retirees and not inmates. Ooh, you're quick. You're like a ninja. I'll get mine done. Glad you've made the right decision. Works like this. You ID Kruger as the cop killer, and we put you and your gentle family into witness protection. Charges of kidnapping a police officer, aiding and abetting a felon, threatening a bomb, impersonating a police officer, leaving the scene of a multiple murder, dangerous driving, tampering with evidence, and all the other serious crimes you may or may not have committed that day go away. Mm. You have a lucky charm up your ass. <laughs> I like hitting all the buttons, don't you? Sometimes you just gotta break the rules, Dad. Add a girl. You want steaks? I'm thinking we need a boat. Oh, yeah, a big boat. <laughs> There you have it. Whether it was a promise of a boat, or steak dinners, or my little apple that's fallen so close to the tree, or my newly son marriage, or my new partner, or all of it all together, my best self was back. Under the cover of witness protection, we could steal and fence just about anything we wanted, and we were completely off the cops' radar. New ID, new hometown, I was back. Stay close, kid. Here we go. I'm with you, partner. So, what's rule number one of being a thief? Aspire to retire. If I even tried to explain it, it would just sound stupid. Come find me. I leave no trails. A criminal flipping at wholesale. With killers and cowboys and hotels. On the run from the law, we know well. The game I know so well. They put me in jail, but I post bail. Ain't riding no coattails. Expect my name in the folk tales. My daughter prays for me. Search the it's more likely that you'll find me in a hearse than the church. Uh.